this happened. Shankaran Pillai, when he was in Paris, was married to a French woman. One day, uh, it was uh, their anniversary. So she invited a bunch of friends and she wanted to cook something really fresh, everything fresh. So from morning, she was driving him to this market, that market. He got this fresh vegetables, fresh meat, fresh chicken, this, that, everything. Then in the evening, she said, because the French have this, uh, you know, snail appetizer. She said, go to the beach and get some snails, fresh. And I will make some appetizers for all the friends who are coming. So Shankar and Pillai uh, went to the beach and he was picking up all the snails and putting in a bucket. Then he met an old friend, an Indian guy. They hit it off and they were talking about their old times. He just forgot that he's married. You know, when you meet old friends, it happens. <laughs> and uh, both of them went to a bar and they had a few drinks and he just forgot. Then he realized, then the snails were just climbing out and talk one fave snail fell out of the bucket. He realized, oh my God, I'm supposed to take the snails. My wife, French wife, she's waiting. So he said, I need to go and he went. By then it was already very late. He went. He knew it's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> so he came near the house and spilled all the snails on the ground, threw away the bucket and uh, went and knocked on the door. The French fury came. <laughs> he turned back and said, come on, you guys, we're almost there. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I had a very nasty joke, but you're looking like a nice guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me downgrade the joke. <laughs> this happened. In New York City, a eight-year-old boy got home from school one afternoon. He had a very progressive mother at home. Obviously, she was single. <laughs> and asked, Mom, is God a man or a woman? You know, this is a big debate in America. Is God a man or a woman? Uh, they tried to settle this in the last election. <laughs> and you know what happened? So she thought through this gender uh, politics that is going on in the country after much thinking. She said both. Oh. Then the boy went into deep thinking. After thinking for a while, he came back and asked, Mama, is God black or white? This is also a big debate. The racial debate is a very big debate. So after thinking through everything, all the racial politics in the country, she said both. Oh. The boy went into very profound thinking. Then he came back and asked, Mama, is God straight or gay? She thought through all the politics involved with that aspect of life. And then she said both. Oh. The boy jumped in joy. I got it. I got it. It's Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people invented somebody up there. Everything that I do wrong, it's God's will. Everything that I do right, of course I did it. <laughs> so the next level of passing the buck is the parents. You know, genetics. A little boy, eight-year-old boy, one day came up to his dad and asked, Father, where does all my intelligence coming from? So the father said, it, it must be from your mother because mine is intact. <laughs> Shankaran Pillai and his friend were trekking in the Arizona desert, harsh climate, and in some places uh, there are vipers, so deadly snakes. So they were sitting and having a little meal. A snake came and bit his friend in his backside. The friend started screaming in pain because this is uh, something that affects your nervous system. So excruciating pain spreads 
Then uh, Shankaran Pillai said, let me get a doctor, and he pulled out his cell phone, and there was no reception, so he ran to a high place, which was almost two kilometers away. And then he got a doctor emergency, and he said like this, this kind, kind of snake, snake has bit friend. my friend, what, what should, should I, I do? do? So the doctor said, immediately cut up, you know, like a cross mark where the injury is and suck out all the blood and spit it out, suck out all the blood and spit it out. Then Shankaran Pillai came back. The friend asked, <laughs> the friend asked, what did the doctor say? He was screaming in pain. So Shankaran Pillai said, the doctor said you will die. <laughs> A man was driving in Mexico and he ran out of gas. Then he walked and there he saw a local monastery where monks were living with very meager resources. He said, my car is not a gas, do something. So the monk said, see, we don't have anything else here. We don't have cars, we don't have gas, but I can give you mule, mule. You ride on the mule to the next town and then you can get gas there and come back. Only thing is, we have trained the mules like this. You sit on it, you don't beat it, you don't do all that. You just say, play, praise the Lord, it will go. When you want it to stop, you say, Amen, it will stop. So he sat on it and said, praise the Lord. It went and went and went, did the whole day it traveled. Then he saw the mule was going straight towards a cliff edge. He wants to stop it, he's doing this, that, but he's forgotten the mantra. He tried everything, but the mule is just going straight to the edge of the cliff. It came right here, about to take its next step. Then he remembered, he said, oh man, it stopped. He looked down, two thousand feet below. Oh my God, praise the Lord. <laughs> Shankaran Pillai was an abusive husband. He was always abusing his wife, sometimes physical abuse, sometimes sexual abuse, sometimes verbal abuse on a daily basis, everything. But the wife was always just calm, undisturbed. One day he freaked on her, but she was undisturbed. Then he asked, how do you do this? I'm abusing you. Every day I say something nasty. Some days I do something nasty to you. But I've never, never seen, seen you throwing up. You're, You're always, always peaceful. peaceful. How, How do you do, do it? it? She said, I clean the toilet. What? If I, I abuse, abuse you, you, you clean, clean the, the toilet? toilet? She says, yeah. yes. If you abuse me, I clean the toilet. When, when I physically abuse, abuse you, you, she said, I will clean two toilets. If I sexually abuse you, abuse you she said, I'll, I'll clean all the toilets in the house. But cleaning, cleaning a toilet, toilet how, how does it keep you peaceful? peaceful? She said, I, I use, use your, your toothbrush. toothbrush. <laughs> A woman in Tennessee was marrying for the fifth time. So she was uh, just a day away from marriage. She was having dinner with her fiancé. And she served him mushroom soup. And he took in a spoon and uh, nice candlelight and romantic and everything. Then uh, he asked, how, how did your first, first husband die? die? Uh, she said, well, well he, he ate poison mushrooms, mushrooms and died. <laughs> okay. how, how did, did your, your second, second husband, husband die? die? Oh, he also, he also ate poison mushrooms and died. died. Now you kept the spoon there. But how did the third one die? Oh, in fact, he also ate poison mushrooms and died. Now he got terrified. He asked, how, how did, did your fourth husband, husband die? Well, he died of a broken neck because he refused to eat poison mushrooms. One day, a nice Catholic girl, Mary, came home and she was distressed. Her mother asked, Mary, my baby, what happened? Why are you like this? 
She said... Anthony, Anthony proposed, proposed to me. To so mother said, Isn't, Isn't that wonderful? wonderful? You've been with him for so long? Is it good he proposed to you? Why are you unhappy about that? Mama, he sins with me without any regret, and he doesn't even believe in hell. How do I marry him? Mother said, Don't you worry, my child. Both of us together will prove him wrong.